Good day, STEM students. This is Ferman Albaninang, your general physics one teacher. So for this video, I will discuss activity seven, entitled "Simple Harmonic Motion." But I will focus first on the conservation of mechanical energy taking place in spring. So yun lang muna. Walapay muna yung ibang part ng si yung period, yung frequency. Walapu muna yon sa next video po yon. So let us start. So to start, let us discuss first Hooke's law. So we have here several spring wherein a weight no weights are attached, and then if you will notice, there is an increasing amount of weight causing the spring to increase its length. And then according to Hooke's law, the force exerted to the spring is directly proportional to the change in length. So yun yung sinasabi sa atin ng equation na ito. So how much force is needed to change the length of a spring? And then may negative sign siya. So, actually, hindi ko ginagamit yan. O, palagi, bigyan ko ng, ng word problem. Pero, ang purpose ng negative sign na yan is to indicate the direction of the force. Kung hapansin nyo, the weight is downward, but the spring exerting force, di ba? Gusto niya kasing i-maintain yung kanyang shape, eh. It exerts a force opposite to the direction of the force uh, causing the change in length. So, yung weight natin, pababa, yung nagkukos ng, ng, ng change in length is pababa, yung, ex, yung force na in-exert ng spring is pataas, opposite the direction of the cause of change. So, yun po yung purpose lang ng negative sign na yan. Kaya sa mga mathematical problem, medyo hindi ko niyang ginagamit siya kasi nagkukos yan ng ano, eh, kalituhan. So, let us apply that. Example number one, what is the magnitude of the force required to stretch a 20 cm long spring with a spring constant of 100 newton meter per meter to a length of 21 cm. Actually, komplikado pa ito ha, kapag ha, malubha na yung mga professor nyo pa nag-college kayo. Kasi even this um, spring constant, kinocompute yan yung Young's Modulus of Elasticity. So, sa akin, binibigay ko ng derecho, pero pwede rin po kasing i-apply yung konsepto ng Young's Modulus of Elasticity. Siya rin po yun. Okay? So, let us, let us proceed. So, ang given natin, we have the springs constant, 100 newton per meter, and then we have x. Ito yung gusto ko i-emphasize sa part na to, kaya diniscuss ko to. So, hindi mo gagamitin yung buong length of the spring. You are actually using the change in length lang. Yung pagbabago lang ng length niya, which is 1 cm kasi from 20, uh, naging 21. So, hinila daw siya. So, 1 cm yung change in length, and then 0.01 meter. Yun lang yung dahilan kung ba't ko diniscuss tong problem na ito. To emphasize this part. And then, proceed to the computation. F is equal to Kx. So, you multiply mo lang yung spring constant to the change in length. And then, we will have here 100 newton per meter times 0.01 is 1 newton. So, again, kung nilagyan ko na negative sign yan, yung equation natin, it will have a negative 1 newton. So, parang nakakalito pa siya, di ba? Parang, ano ibig sabihin nun? Nag-lessen ba yung kanyang magnitude? No. It is just the direction of the force opposite to the force causing the change in length. Okay, so yun po yun. And then, let us proceed. Ayan, energy muna ang pag-usapan natin. So, energy due to, uh, caused by springs, o yung mga elastic materials na yan, is called elastic potential energy. So, for example, here a bow. Okay, so when we pull the string of a bow, and then we let go, mamaya mababanggit ko kung anong energy yun, makikita natin na nagkukos siya ng motion. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong stored energy dito, and you call that elastic potential energy. And then, the change in length, hindi natin kukunin yung change in length sa buong length ng string, hindi. It is just the change in this, the displacement of a string from this point to this point. Okay, so yan lang po yung kinukuha. Kung naalala nyo yung konsepto ng work done, no? Yung work done kasi, ang pinag-uusapan lang doon is the force parallel to the displacement. So, yung force na ina-apply natin sa kayong displacement, ito lang yung pinag-uusapan natin dito sa elastic potential energy not the change in length in the whole length of the string so yan lang po yun emphasis ko kapag string po yun kapag uh, bow po yun ha and then madali lang kapag spring kasi along, along direction lang naman sila so when we pull the spring okay so we are storing energy so yung change in length okay so that is your elastic potential energy okay sa so pag hinatak natin yan dito at this point na sa elastic potential energy So, we could express that mathematically as EE or elastic potential energy is equal to 1 half Kx squared. So, kung mapansin nyo, wala yung negative sign dito kasi unang-una, sabi ko kanina, ang purpose dun is for direction lang. Eh, wala naman direction ng energy. Okay? So, yun po yung reason. And then, 1 half K 
x squared. So, naka-square lang yung x. Remember, it is not the length of the spring. Rather, it is just the change in length. So, yun lang yung kukunin mo rito. Now, if given na siya, binanggit na siya, wala ka nang gagawin computation. If not, you have to derive first the change in length, then convert it to meter. Okay? So, hindi ka nandidiscuss yung computation yan kasi napaka-basic naman yan. Remember, stem tayo. <laughs> yan, hindi natin kailangan kutuhan yan. So, yun na ko lang kanina yung pagkuha ng x. And then, kinetic energy. So, balikan natin yung bow. Yan. When we pull, we are storing energy. Elastic potential energy yun. But when we release the string, notice that the arrow flies. No? So, nagmumove siya. And energy due to motion is kinetic energy. So, yung potential energy na ni-store natin sa string will immediately be transformed into kinetic energy upon release of the string. Okay? So, same thing. Yan yung kinetic energy natin. Same thing with spring. So, when we pull the ball to the right, no? And then we release, it will immediately return to its original position. Actually, lalampas pa. Kami natin pag-uusapan kung ano nangyayari. Hindi na nag-stop kung saan siya galing eh. It will compress the spring. So, ito po yung kanyang displacement o yung change of x. Yung change, change of position or yung x natin. Yung change in length natin. And then, upon release, nag-move siya towards this position. So, yun po yung kinetic energy na binabanggit ko. Mathematically, naalala pa natin, it is just 1 half mv squared. So, medyo kahawig siya no, ng elastic potential energy kasi para sila may square sa dulo. Tapos, ito lang yung si k tapos si x. Ito, mv squared. So, para sila may 1 half. So, medyo madaling maalala kapag ang pinag-uusapan ay elastic potential energy sa kinetic energy kasi medyo magkahawig sila. Pero magkaiba silang computation na. Again, I will no longer discuss this. Okay? So, conservation of energy. So, ito yung pag-uusapan natin, yung energy transformation. So, kung nanonotice natin, ito yung ating um, spring with a mass or a ball connected to the free end. And then, it is moving back and forth. No? Nag yung motion. Ang tawag dyan ay simple harmonic motion or oscillation. Or other word is vibration. So, yun yung mangyayari niya. Ba now, bakit siya nagbabibrate? No, bakit kaya siya nagbabibrate? So, meron kasing transformation of energy happening in this spring. So, let us start with position A. So, position A, when we put the mass at a distance, so yun yung x natin, yung change in length, and then, notice that the spring is stretched. Okay? So, nag exert yung spring na ibalik doon sa original position niya. So, meron siyang negative force na yun exert doon. But, velocity is still zero kasi you are, st you are still holding it. So, if you will compute the elastic potential energy, that is equivalent to 1 half kx squared. So, yun po yung nangyayari dyan. Now, upon release, upon release, sa B, F is equal to zero. So, nahatak na siya papunta ron. And then, babalik siya sa point no, na X is equal to zero, yung kanyang original length. At this point, velocity is maximum. So, ibig sabihin, dyan siya pinakamabilis at this position. And at this position, we could compute that 1 half m uh, v, ano, yung maximum velocity. So, dito yung pinakamalaking kinetic energy niya sa position na zero natin, original length niya. Okay? Now, since the spring is moving, no, it, is, it is causing the mass to move at a maximum speed at this position, it will not stop immediately at this position. It will continue to move towards left and then it will compress the spring. So, yun po yung mangyayari doon. Kanina, hinila natin siya, tapos binita natin, bumalik siya. Now, kapag ating sa position na ito, sa X, hindi siya mag-stop dyan. Due to inertia. And remember, meron siyang energy, yung kinetic energy. Yung kinetic energy na yun could do work. It could do work. It could push and cause displacement. So, mangyayari yun at this position, uh, compressing the spring, and then eventually, it will stop. It will, it will stop at uh, certain length so makocompress niya yan certain length and then remember nakocompress mo to meron na naman siyang opposite direction na force kanina sa stretching meron siyang opposite na force dito naman compressional gusto naman niyang humaba ngayon okay so at this position we could say that all the kinetic energy is used uh, is, is transformed no? it is used up in motion and then stop naging na transform siya into potential energy so, meron na naman siyang ibang form ng energy. At ang katangian nun, kung ano yung potential energy dito, yung maximum, yun din yung kinetic energy dito, yung maximum. At yun din yung potential energy dito, maximum. 
Okay? So, ipupush na naman niya babalik. Okay? And then, papunta rito, maximum velocity na naman siya, pinakamabilis siya. So, hindi pa rin siya mag stop dyan at least position uh, original length. Dahil siya ay nasa maximum velocity, it will continue towards right, hahataki naman niya yung spring. So, magkakaroon naman siya ng stretching. So, what will happen? Ito yung nangyayari. It is moving back and forth. Now, if it is frictionless, it will not stop. It will continue to move back and forth. So, yun yung simple harmonic motion. It is just the transformation between mechanic, uh, kinetic, potential, uh, kinetic energy and elastic potential energy. Okay? So, applying yung konsepto ng conservation of energy, yung kanilang mga maximum, yung potential energy is equal to kinetic energy. Na yung maximum na ito. And at each point, nagpapalit lang yung amount ni potential energy. So, habang lumalaki si potential energy, liliit si kinetic energy hanggang maging zero. Habang lumiliit si potential energy hanggang maging zero, lalaki naman si kinetic energy hanggang maging maximum. So, using this uh, concept, we could uh, replace yung PE sa KE. So, kanalala nyo kanina, KX squared. Nilagyan lang yung maximum kasi yun yung pinakamalayong pwedeng abot ng spring na inapply ng force. So, KX squared, so siya pa rin yun. And then, yung maximum velocity, it is the velocity at the original length. Kasi hindi naman siya nag-stop doon. Doon siya pinakamabilis. And then, transpose, isa-isahin natin. So, wala na yung one half. Di ba? Tapos, yung M, nasa iba, bumupunta sa ilalim, kaya naging KM. Tapos, i-square root mo sila if you wish to get V lang. No? Ito yung V lang, V max, square root mo. So, si X, natanggal na yung square niya. X square, natanggal na yan. Ang naiwan na lang, square root of KM. So, yun po naman ang computation to get the maximum velocity of a mass or a ball or anything that you attach at the free end of the um, spring. Pwede rin po sa araw para makuha mo kung ano yung velocity bago mo siya i-release yung kanyang uh, let go velocity ng initial velocity ng araw. Pwede mong computein gamit yung equation na ito. Okay? So, what is the maximum velocity? So, ito na yun. Diretso na example 4, ha? Kasi tumalun tayo. What is the maximum velocity of 1 kilogram mass connected to a 20 centimeter long spring with a spring constant of 100 newton meter if it is compressed at 19 centimeter? So, ngayon, kinompress natin. So, yung given natin, actually, parehas pa rin. 0.01 pa rin, no? Kasi ang difference nila is 1 centimeter pa rin. And then, nadagdagan lang tayo ng mass ngayon. And then, i-emphasize ko lang, yung A natin dito, yung ating maximum displacement, positive-negative siya. Kasi pwede siyang compress, compressional or compress, pwede rin siyang stretch. So, depende kung anong direction. Tapos, ibig sabihin, kahit anong, kahit anong, ano niya, kahit anong sign niya po dyan, it will not matter. Okay? Since ang pinag-uusapan natin, maximum velocity niya, doon sa gitna. Okay? So, yan lang naman. And then, solution, 0.01 meter. So, 100 newton per meter over 1 kilogram. Madali lang yan. 100 over 1 is 10. Square root po yung, ah, 100. Square root po yung 100 is 10. So, 10 times 0 0.01 is 0 0.1 meter per second. And that is the maximum velocity for the ball connected on the spring. Okay? So, I hope you have learned something uh, about conservation of energy in spring. In general physics, Calma lang.